History of Color Television, presentation brought to you by Clara and Shristi. Throughout this presentation, you will learn how color television came about and changed people's everyday life, in good and in bad ways. Before television, people entertained themselves by socializing with friends, family, and neighbors. They read books, played musical instruments, and listened to radios. Their morning started with the morning news on the radio. They sat with their families to chat. Other likes to go out to local establishments to drink and socialize. 1946, it reached the end of the World War II. Many people began to become very eager and anxious to find out what was going on during the wartime. This very much led to the contribution to make the color television. On January 26, 1926, John Barrett gave the world's first demonstration of true television before 50 scientists in an attic room in central London. In 1927, his television was demonstrated over 348 miles of television line between London and Glasgow. Peter Goldmark lived in the United States and worked as a construction engineer until 1936 when he joined CBS, or Columbia Broadcasting System, as chief engineer of the television department. At CBS, Goldmark created what is known as the first commercial color system. He used a rotating three-color red, green, and blue disc. The TV pictured below is the first television made. It used the same elements from the inventors mentioned in the slides before it. The sale of the television was not at all moving quickly. Televisions were not selling, but in 1972, color sales exceed black and white. The RCV Victor TV was expensive when they first released. They were $1,000, which is equivalent to $6,891 today, equaling the same amount that a Chevy car would cost them. Not many people had the TVs. They were usually seen in offices, businesses, but not many households. Captioning was first introduced to the public in 1971 at the first national conference on the television for the hearing impaired in Nashville, Tennessee. Soon after, NBS presented closed captioning into their normal broadcast of their television show called The Mode Squad, which helped the hearing impaired enjoy television too. NBC, standing for National Broadcasting Company, was the first colored network and the first network to complete conversion of all new programs to color. The first TV shows on NBC included Premiere and The World is Yours. On June 25, 1951, CBS broadcasted a show called The Premiere only on color televisions which was only in Boston, Philadelphia, Belmator, and Washington, D.C. Even though the colors weren't true to the life, but the program was a success. On June 27, 1951, two days later after the first color show premiere aired, CBS began airing the first regularly scheduled color television series, The World is Yours, from weeknights to 4.30, to 5 p.m. On August 11, 1951, a month and a half after The World is Yours made its debut, CBS aired the first baseball game in color. The game was between the Brooklyn Dodgers and the Boston Braves at Abbott's Field in Brooklyn, New York. A Braves victory 8 went over the Dodgers. Disney presents the Wonderful World. September 24th, 1961. Walt Disney's World of Color begins to air on TV for one hour color programs. World of Color is now a beautiful sight to see at Disneyland. It is a light show featuring Disney characters. In 1962, the animated shows The Flintstones, a show about a Stonish family, and another show called The Jetsons, a show about a futuristic family, 
were one of the first shows to air on ABC. They were the longest running primetime cartoons. TV changed the world in both positive and negative ways for children and adults. It was a great advance in technology and helped people learn a lot, but a strain on people's everyday life. Here are a few examples of how it affected the society in good and in bad ways. Televisions in the 1900s were very bulky and heavy. Also, they did not have the good graphics. Some only used the primary colors red, blue, and yellow. Also, the structure of the TV resembled a black screen in a cardboard box, and they were not very durable. Televisions in the 2000s were advanced in technology. Some featured a VCR where you could play cassette movies, also appeared nicer than the old ones. The screen was bigger and used more pixels. They also didn't use knobs that were capable of falling off. Pros included a catch-up on the news around the world, shows about the history, educational shows for children, and entertainment. Also, a way for kids to stay indoors when the weather is ugly outside, and also help the parents to relieve stress because the TV was keeping kids busy. Cons included addictive, also unhealthy because you are not active while watching TV, some adults and children began to become socially inactive. Decreases creativity, kids weren't doing their homework, and there is spam on television.